World Cup night. There's a lot of money at stake. This is uh, the biggest event of the flat racing uh, industry. So, um, you know, things can go wrong, things can go right. The main thing is when we sort of turn into the straight, every jockey's jockeying for position to make sure they get a clear run and hopefully to do the best they can so that you know there'll be no hard luck stories. Worst case scenario is you're in on the rail, boxed in, nowhere to go. Obviously there would be a hard luck story but then again you know you don't want to be going all the way uh, wide on the outside from the duration of the race because you're going the longest way around and you need to reserve energy. So a happy medium in between not getting boxed in on the inside and not going too wide and uh, hopefully no hard luck stories. If you're on a front runner um, you need to judge, judge the pace right because uh, if, if that's not right you won't be winning and also if you're riding a horse from in behind you know you need to be aware that uh, there might be traffic problems and you know split second decisions will win or lose you the race. Some horses like to be up front, some horses like to be in the middle, some horses like to be at the back so as a jockey you've got to know your horses and be aware of what other people are doing in the race as well you know it's no good just thinking well I know where I need to sit you also need to know where all the other runners what they're going to do where they're going to sit and also what they like to sort of uh, do so it's basically you've got to know what you you are doing and all your opponents because it doesn't matter if you're a, a rank outsider it's horse racing, anything can happen, so you've basically got to be on the ball. Each track's very different. We've got the tapita and the turf. Um, they tend to go a little bit faster on the tapita. You can sort of get away, if you judge your pace right, can get away with uh, riding a canny race up front. And vice versa on the turf, you know, I think it all comes with experience and also course knowledge. They're both very, very, very good surfaces. You know, the grass is in tip-top shape. The tapita is great. So, you know, from a jockey's point of view, it doesn't really make a great deal of difference you know you've just got to adapt to whatever surface and whatever course you're riding it's horse racing nothing's impossible you know things the strangest things happen if you're in it you've got a chance of winning it